So, I'm in the dense forests of far north New Zealand. My new buddy James. We have some rifles and some basic equipment. And we're going on a wee two day hunting bushcraft trip. So, uh, see what happens. Yippee! So we're on the edge of James's land and uh, we're going after possums and pigs both of which are invasive to New Zealand uh, No hunting's not everyone's cup of tea but uh, these animals are causing some damage here and uh, we're gonna eat everything that we get so nothing will be wasted We have a bag of food scraps that we're gonna lay out and make a bait station to try and uh, attract some pigs. So um, we think this is quite a crossroads point for the pigs, uh, just because several trails intersect and there seems to be a lot of fresh sign here. So, highly likely that, um, yeah, there'll be pigs coming through here later this afternoon or tonight. Cool. So we reckon this is a good spot to put a bait station and hide. We're going to backtrack about 15-20 minutes and uh, set up a camp for a couple nights. So we have to wait till nightfall before we do any hunting and the vague plan is to go after possums tonight and try and get a pig tomorrow. In terms of firearms we have a Ruger 1022 semi-automatic for going after the possums and for the pigs we have this old Ruger 700, uh, both of which I think should do the job. So this plant here is kia kia, and these uh, fruits are meant to be edible. Hmm. Not bad. It's quite pleasant really, isn't it? It's not too bad. So uh, yesterday evening, surprisingly, we didn't see any possums whatsoever. Um, James went out at about three in the morning, and luckily, he managed to shoot one. A young female. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. We've got something to eat for tonight. That's the possum prepared. Uh, main chunks of meat, this liver, and then a usable pelt. So it's important to note that in other bits of New Zealand they're doing large scale dropping of poison to kill possums. So it's uh, not a good idea to eat possums from those areas. But around here uh, there's no poisoning, so it should be alright.
So this is the cabbage tree and you can eat the undifferentiated leaves which are found in the centre of these fronds and uh, funnily enough it tastes like cabbage. So this is supplejack vine and you find it growing all over the forests of New Zealand. Uh, the vine itself, you can use it as a sort of makeshift cordage. You can also eat the young shoots which uh, kind of taste like asparagus and it also has these edible red berries. That's the possum stew ready. It smells pretty good. What do you reckon, James? Mmm, sumptuous delight. Mmm, <laughs> pretty good. Is it? It's definitely got a possum aftertaste, but. It's starting to get dark now, so we're heading over to the hide and see if we can see any pigs. So uh, last night we waited in the hide for about three hours and we did hear what we think was a pig and uh, just our luck it came from behind us rather than where we, we set up the hide uh, but we didn't actually get eyes in it before it ran off uh, maybe it could smell our possum breath or something yeah. <laughs> and then we went back to the hide at four o'clock this morning uh, but still nothing so, no bacon for us. Yeah. No, so sitting around on our last morning, I've just uh, rustled up a fire, um, which wasn't the easiest because of a, um, a shower we had previously. Everything was a bit wet, but we've managed to, uh, to get some diuretic coffee into us, which <laughs> is, uh, would surely be a no-no in the strictest survival standards. <laughs> Wasting water, but Tom will drink his own urine later, <laughs> so, so that'll make up for it. Well, yeah, this is uh, the last morning of the trip, and uh, thanks so much for coming out with me, James. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I was going to do a solo trip, but James suggested, uh, oh, why don't we take the guns and do this thing? And this is the first time I've uh, done a hunting trip like this, so thanks so much. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you in the next video. Everything's gonna be alright Everything's gonna be just fine Everything's gonna be alright If you just